This is the VOA Special English Technology Report. Privacy activists are concerned about Google's new privacy policy as of March 1st. The company says one main policy is replacing more than 60 separate policies for different products. Activists say the changes will make it easier to track the activities of users across Google's many products, from Gmail to YouTube. Mark Rotenberg heads the Electronic Privacy Information Center in Washington. He says Google's aim is to create a single unified profile of its users. We believe that not only is that a threat to privacy, we actually believe it is illegal because last year Google entered into an agreement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission in which they said they would not engage in that kind of data sharing without the explicit permission of their users. Google says its new policy will make it simpler for users to share information across services like Google Search, Gmail, and Google Calendar. And it says the new policy will help personalize each user's experience. Over time, it says users can expect to see better search results, fewer unwanted advertisements, and more content targeted to their interests. But Mark Rotenberg says, in return, people who choose to use Google will lose control over the information they share. The type of information you might provide for an email service, for example, such as your address book, is different from the type of information that you might provide for a social network service. Mr. Rotenberg says these two kinds of services should be kept separate. In our view, Google is actually undermining a very well-established expectation of privacy, particularly for popular internet services like electronic mail. Critics also see a bigger problem with Google's new policy. The plan would not give users a choice to opt out of the data sharing. Mr. Rotenberg says, in our view, if people want to make their personal information available, they certainly should have the right to do that. What we're objecting to is the effort by the company to take away from the users that choice that they should have. Google says it will not be collecting any more data than it does now. And it says users will still be able to control many privacy settings. For example, they can disable their search history and set Gmail chat to off the record. European Union officials have asked the company to delay the new policy to make sure it would not violate any EU data protection laws. For VOA Special English, I'm Mario Ritter.